Queensland trials, fast, frequent, 50 cent fares. Low fees, aimed at reducing road congestion, to begin across the state's public transport network in August. Trips on Queensland's public transport network, including train, bus, tram, and ferry services across the state's southeast and government-operated buses in regional cities, will cost just 50 cents under a six-month trial. The single fare fee, which will apply to all passengers from 5 August, represents a discount on even the lowest fares, with substantial savings on some long commuter trips. The flat 50-cent fare will make trips for seniors even cheaper than the current 50% discounted tickets available to concession cardholders. Senior concession cardholders will be able to continue to travel free on Brisbane City Council buses and in the Gold Coast City Council areas during off-peak travel times. Private transport services, including Brisbane's AirTrain, will not be discounted. Launching the scheme at Mango Hill Railway Station, Premier Stephen Miles said it would reduce the weekly fare for a five-day-a-week commuter from that station from about $96 to $5. And if you drive to work, you're stuck in peak hour traffic every day and paying a lot more than that, Mr. Miles said. It's why I'm making all public transport fares a flat 50 cents. No matter where you live, your mode of travel, or how far you go. I expect this will save Queenslanders thousands of dollars over six months, and encourage more people to catch our fast, frequent, and 50-cent public transport. It's as close to free as you can get. National Seniors Australia, which has long called for free public transport for older Australians, has welcomed the decision as a good result for seniors and all Queenslanders. Mr. Miles told media that public transport usage has not rebounded to its pre-COVID levels and that has contributed to traffic congestion, particularly in the southeast. We're hoping that this trial of 50-cent fares will give people a reason to rethink their habits. Mr. Miles said he hoped the scheme worked at getting more people onto public transport so it can be extended beyond the six-month trial. The advertising supporting the campaign will include the message, use it or lose it, he said. The state opposition, which broadly supports the scheme, noted that that trial will be in place during the lead-up to and immediate aftermath of the state election in October. We know how tough it is for Queenslanders at the moment, Deputy Opposition Leader Jared Blygee said. The feedback we're already getting is yes, Queenslanders are supportive of the cost of living relief, but cynical that the trial ends just after the election. Trains are already crowded in peak times more transport services will be required the way forward? Taken from article by National Seniors Australia leave your opinion below should low fares remain or not?